God, let me do my makeup first. <laughs> do I look good? Do I look good? Oh, this is gonna be used, isn't it? <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to the first episode of the Trash Taste Podcast. Hell yeah. The official first episode. The official yeah. first episode. Yeah. We finally <laughs> made it. Uh, I'm your host for today, Joey, and joining me every week is Gant and Connor. Hey Yo, guys. Um, so yeah, it's finally happening. It's finally happening. <laughs> oh my God. You do not know how long we've been planning this and how long we've wanted this to happen. This shit, like how long has it been? I, I mean, been. I mean, we've been conceptualizing this podcast yeah. for like what? Over a year. Yeah, it's, it's been year, a year, at least poss possibly years. Because yeah. I mean, when we decided we were going to move to Japan, I think the first thing in our mind was, "Well, we got to make a podcast." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, but I think it were even before that, the idea of just us finally getting into a room and just mm. you know not doing a one-off collab, but doing like a continual collab has been you know in our minds for ages. Yeah, I, I want to say several years at yeah. least. At least almost as known as like, as long as I've known you probably. <laughs> we was like, would be, you know what'd be really cool? A podcast. Yeah. I'm just left out here. I was, I was, I was, <laughs> no, that's not sure. I was tacked on at the end, no. no let's, let's, let's talk okay. about that. Like how we first met each other, because I think that's a good introduction to this Correct. podcast and how we've grown Yes, because you never know, there might be someone watching who doesn't know, like, who's that guy? Who's that guy? <laughs> who's this guy? Exactly, right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Connor. Hi. <laughs> I run a channel. I just... I'd, be, I'd be pretty surprised if there is someone watching this first episode who doesn't know, like, all three of us. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, maybe. Or maybe they've seen us. If you, like, if you did, then can you please tell us in the comments below how you found this video? Yeah. Because <laughs> we're just so famous that you have no excuse <laughs> for not knowing who we are. No. I swear. Um. So... Yeah, let's uh, actually, yeah. you know what, well, before we talk about that, we should yeah. probably talk about what this podcast is. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah it's true. We're yeah. just like rushing into things because it's so, we're so like excited I'm, to I'm finally- just like, oh, I just want to talk, okay? I just want to talk. Just, just. We're so excited to get this thing off the ground. So basically, uh, Trash Taste, as the name implies, is a podcast where we, us three, and maybe sometimes even a guest, you yeah. never know, comes onto the show and we basically talk about our trash taste, whether it comes to anime, manga, just otaku culture in general, or you never know. We might talk about whatever yeah. the fuck we want. Who knows? Yeah, because uh, if, if you didn't know, we are all like anime YouTubers. Yeah. So no we, way. No, no. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> this guy called the Anime Man <laughs> is, is, is really, maybe really an anime. You dug your hole with that one. Yeah, I really <laughs> fucked myself with that one. Definitely. <laughs> this guy called Sea Dog Var, which- Yeah, God. That, yeah, that too, What I does Var stand for? <laughs> Virginia is that all the comments <laughs> seem to think. He's from Virginia, guys. <laughs> it's okay, because the amount of years that I, I still get comments, which is like, they call me Gig UK and not Gig Up. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> I mean, listen, people might call you Gig UK, but I still know you as the anime zone, okay? <laughs> that that's, AZ that's... In, the t in the thumbnails, in the old thumbnails, that's yeah. how I knew I was watching an anime zone video. Actually, I'm actually curious, how long have you been watching my videos? Because this ties into how we first met as well. I've known you, I mean, I obviously, as I said, I've known you since the anime zone. That's like, that's a like, long time. Which is like a long time. Yeah. But I think I like, I watched you probably not knowing that you were like this like YouTube personality because- Yeah, like, yeah, same, same. Yeah, yeah. Cause like, cause I was in like a weird state. I don't think I discovered YouTubers until maybe about 2011. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Because they've been around for a long time since then, right? Yeah, And exactly. obviously you've been around since then, yeah. but I never like went onto YouTube being like, I'm going to go check out my favorite YouTube. <laughs> I kind of I kinda just use YouTube up until around 2011. I think I just use YouTube as to like either watch music or listen to music videos yeah. or just to like, oh, this is an interesting looking video. Yeah. And I think uh, a couple of your videos were like the interesting looking ones. I think I remember actually the first video I ever watched from you uh, surprisingly was not Ava Bridged. Oh shit. I okay. Know, okay. I, know. okay. I watched Ava Bridge when I like the idea of an, a, a an, an abridged series came around. Yeah. 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 And I was like, oh, a bridging, that sounds fun, but tedious as fuck. <laughs> but um, no, I think the first video I watched from you was, oh God, I probably want to say it's the Summer Wars review you did. Oh my God. Like the one you did in like 2008. That's going so far back. What the fuck, I, man? I never even saw your Eva. Ava a bridge. Yeah, I just because I hadn't watched Ava, so I was like, why would I watch the? I don't even know what this <laughs> bridge is. Yeah. Like, why would I watch that? So I think I I, don't, I watched some of your stuff. I just knew you were always the British one. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> the, Brit <laughs> the British. Because that was my brand. Yeah, because yeah. there was like there was like Tristan and then you in my mind. I think that mm -hmm. was it to a lot of people when yeah. at least when I got into it like 2013, I started watching YouTube a lot, especially anime stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, 
Yeah, but yeah. then, so how long have you been doing YouTube for? I've been doing it since 2007. So <laughs> he's like an actual God. OG. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm like, I would have to like trace back, but I think I'm like the fifth ever anime YouTuber wow. of all time. Might be like fourth <laughs> or fifth, but I've been there since the beginning. I, I can recite the entire history of Anitube. Which we're definitely gonna do which, in like a future Not, not for this episode, episode yeah. which because there, there's a lot to say, but <laughs> for now, like I remember, the first, I can't remember the, what the exact first video I saw from you, Joey, mm. but I remember your videos just getting recommended to me <laughs> constantly. Really? And I'm just like, my first thought was, how has no one taken the handle the anime man? <laughs> I've been on YouTube for so many fucking years and just now someone is called the anime, there's no fucking No, way. but the thing is someone did take the handle anime man. Oh, so, okay. Because that's why like, on, on like even my like my YouTube URL and like my mm. Twitter and everything, it's the anime man, but it's an I, it's a one. <laughs> Because somebody <laughs> on like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like YouTube, someone took the anime man. It was like this guy who never uploaded any videos. <laughs> oh and God. he's been around since like 2007. Yeah, and yeah. And so I was just like, oh man, you are such a son of a bitch. So <laughs> I was like, well, what am I gonna do? All right, fuck it, I'll just replace it with one. Somehow that caught on, I don't know yeah. how the fuck, yeah. but yeah. yeah, I mean, I regret that name. Let's be honest. Like, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it works for SEO, right? Because the reason I was called the anime zone is because- You were I, an anime. Yeah, yeah. Because ba back- Because <laughs> he was back, in the zone. <laughs> back, back in the day when you could just type in anime and it was just all my videos. I'm like, man, I've won this game. <laughs> I've, I'm playing the game correctly. And then I came along, I was and like, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're in the zone, I'm the man. <laughs> but I remember the first time I uh, was, uh, I mean, I, I don't think I have ever saw one of your videos. No. The first time I heard about you, Connor, was actually when you auditioned for one of my <laughs> abridged series. So oh, I, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I haven't told his story to Joe yet. Yeah. So I did a casting call for one of the In Minutes videos, right? And I told people to send in their, de their I'm, demo I'm, videos. I'm trying to remember what this was now, because yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> it's going it all was. the way back. And so I asked people to send in their demo reel and most people send in their demo reel. And this and this guy, <laughs> this fucker doesn't even send in a demo reel. He just sends in a YouTube video of him doing League of, Le uh, League of Legend character impressions. <laughs> And I'm okay, like- Okay, wait, wait, let me, let me explain <laughs> as to why you should also never do that yourself. Um, yeah, yeah, don't, don't do that. Wait, when someone asks for demos, send a demo reel. Uh, yeah, no, I think at the time I didn't have a character demo reel. And to be fair, I still don't have a character demo reel because I never needed it. I, okay, here's the thing as well. A lot of character demos on, on Twitter, you'll hear them. They're really, really bad. Yeah. And the thing is when you're making it yourself, you don't have anyone to say like, hey, this voice kind of sucks, right? <laughs> so like, Every time I've made a, a professional demo, I've had like a director who's like hand shows in every scene and told me what to do. Right. Yeah. And then it sounds good because mm. someone who can hear your voice and be like, oh, do this and that. But back then I didn't know that. And this was before I started doing you know, a lot of professional stuff. And uh, yeah, it's a great way to introduce yourself <laughs> to someone. This is yeah. why, okay, this is also another thing. You shouldn't send a demo to someone if it's garbage, cause you're gonna, like this guy still remembers that shit. I remember because <laughs> he was the only person who didn't send a demo reel, but just sent a YouTube video of him doing impressions. Never <laughs> send, like if there is a, like a checklist of things not to That's send for a demo, do not send character impressions. That's such a big, <laughs> that's such a big dick move. Like, <laughs> it's like, I don't even need a character yeah, demo exactly, reel. Exactly, like, right? My impressions are good enough. <laughs> so, I mean, do you remember which characters you did? Yeah, I think so. I think they were like, it was just a bunch of the manly guys from League of Legends. Yeah, just, just anyone with a low voice. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I did Lux too. I remember yeah. I did Lux. But no, it's like, it's been awesome seeing you, how far you've come from yeah. sending in a character impression reel to like <laughs> doing- God, that was of... like, I, that must have been just like a year or two after I started as well. And I still like, you think that you figure stuff out after a year, but like you realize yeah. when you look back, like you still, you just didn't know shit. Because yeah. what year did you start? YouTube, yeah. uh, YouTube, I started 2015, 2015. 2015, 2015. Yeah. I started voice acting really in like 2013, late 2014. So that gave me a big like advantage. I went into it with like a great microphone. Right yeah, from the start, yeah, yeah. Which a lot of people don't. Because you had that voice acting. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I mean, funny enough how I met you, I actually have the email. 
I sent to him. Wait, what? Wait, 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 Actually, what? You have I, an email? I have, I have the email. Sent... Before, I have the... before we started recording this, we were going to talk about like how we all met one another. <laughs> this guy was like, I don't think Joey remembers the first time we met. I think I do though. Okay. Do you want me to read the email that I sent? Go, yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah, please. Okay, this is when I had- Wait, you sent it to me, right? Yeah, yeah. So this yeah. was about like, oh, it must've been like four months into me doing YouTube. And I think I had like maybe 30, 40 K subs at this right. point. Yeah, yeah. I think Joey, I think he had like 900 K at this time. Probably. It was something like you had a lot, yeah. uh, like way more than I had. Yeah. And so I sent you an email saying, wow, this is so inf like formal. So <laughs> Hello there, my name is Connor, uh, Connor or C-Dog VA on YouTube. Wait, this doesn't make any sense grammatically. Uh, or C-Dog VA on my, I need to use commas. Hello there, my name is Connor or C-Dog VA on YouTube channel here. And then channel here, channel here. <laughs> the, okay, here, here's where it starts to get real cringy. Okay. I've been working on a Levi versus Sebastian rap battle. Oh my God, I, <laughs> I remember <laughs> okay. that. Okay, wait, I'll finish it then I'll explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, and it is about 90% complete. I noticed you recently did a rap battle and it was well done. Wow, I couldn't have kissed your ass more here, <laughs> huh? Uh, it's more of an in insulting each other character rap. I have the voice of Sebastian Michaelish English dub down to a T. Wow, that was really cool. Wow, 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 wow. And I was wondering if you'd like to be Levi. If you wish to talk to me more about, the, about it and the logistics, feel free to contact me on Skype. <laughs> the logistics. <laughs> like it's what logistics? <laughs> I wanted to sound professional as fuck. Yeah. Uh, or just reply to this email. Any responses appreciated. Uh, kind of regards, C Dog. I don't even use my real name, C Dog V. And then Jerry replied saying, Hi there. Sure, sounds like fun, smiley face. I added you on Skype. We can talk about it. And I remember the first thing that Jerry sent me was like, Yo, your voice is cool as fuck. Yeah. And I was like, Damn. I still think that to this day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's how, like, I, and to this day, I thought that was so cool that you actually replied because I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of mean. When I see a video, normally when it's like collab, it's normally like, it's normally kind of, like yeah. a, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> normally it's like I I don't know what I want to do yet, but I want to collab. Right. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, what do you mean you don't know what you want to do yet? You're <laughs> pitching an idea. To me. What the fuck? So that's why I met you. Yeah, I fucking remember that too because yeah, yeah the uh, the rap battle I did was. Uh, <laughs> Oh, so bad. Don't watch it. I could spend more time putting rolls of chess, but looks like I gotta prove to you that I'm the best. You wanna fight, little emo? Well, be my guest. The will to the end until I got an F on my chest. But it was like, pretty bad. It was pretty <laughs> fucking bad. At the time, it was the first time I ever used the green screen in my video. Oh. And like, and like, because I was in like my tiny bedroom in Australia, yeah, yeah. there was no place to like prop up the green screen. Yeah. So what I had to do, it's so ghetto. What I had to do was I had to get the green screen and literally like, tape it to the ceiling. <laughs> no, I've done exactly the same thing yeah. before, man. And just like let it droop down <laughs> and just stand in front of it. And like, I had no light, so you could see my shadow fucking flickering in and out the whole video. I obviously couldn't rap at the time either. I'm a little yeah. bit better now, but yeah, I, it was a, uh, what was it? It was a light, no, it was L from Death Note versus Lelouch from Code Geass. Right, I remember it, And yeah. I played Lelouch and another friend of mine played L. Yeah. And I think that video has like half a million views. I don't know how. Yeah. I mean, this because is back when it was like epic rap battles of history. Yeah, we basically of, yeah, wanted yeah. to do an epic yeah, rap yeah, battles we're, of history, we're... but with no cosplay. It's just two dudes <laughs> just rapping in front of a green screen. <laughs> Checks out. That's like 2015 YouTube. Yeah, yeah. But basically like that kind of somehow popped off on my channel. And then, yeah. And then you I messaged saw me it, about yeah. it. Cause, cause I, was, I actually was writing that with Gray Fox at the time. Yeah. Amazing guy. Yeah. And uh, I thought like we had, we had like a banger. We had like, so many like Gray Fox had made the tracks for many beats and they were like amazing. Man, sending emails, that's such a yeah. boomer way to slide into someone's yeah, I mean, DMs. Now, now it's Twitter. Yeah. Right? Now. Yeah. Not to mention we added each other on Skype. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, back, the good and, old days of and, Skype. And then I think like your Skype account got hacked or something at yeah, some point. It did, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Like, it, did. it got so hacked twice. Yeah. It so yeah. And then uh, I know how I met you, but it was weird because I think Sydney, I saw Sydney was following me. Yeah, Sid Snap, my fiance. Yeah, and uh, I think I followed her back because I knew of Sydney. And then Sydney DM'd me. She'll say that she didn't. Sydney DM'd me first. I know. <laughs> um, and she was like, you're going to MCM, which is a convention in London. And I was yeah. like, yeah, okay. And then Sydney was like, oh, come come to this meetup. You can meet me and Gaunt. Yeah. I didn't get to meet Gaunt because he was too busy. <laughs> so I, I, I turned up like an idiot. It was like, hi, I'm like Sea Dog and stuff. And everyone's like, who the fuck? Who, the, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> at, at the time I had like 200K subscribers. So yeah. it was like a substantial amount for yeah. that, that time period. Well, it was funny because you had uh, audience 
audience that was vastly different from Everyone, every yeah. other yeah. anime YouTuber. I mean, it's still like that to this yeah, day. Yeah, that's true. It's, I, it's, I reckon. It's, it's gone like a lot less. So at the time in around 2000, uh, the peak of it at 2014, I had a 93% female audience. Which was unheard of. I, yeah. like, I don't, I think his his <laughs> nickname when we first met him was the 93%. Yeah. <laughs> We were just like, how's the 90% doing? I'm okay, I got, I got bullied for it. I really want to start calling you that from now. <laughs> it's like, it's like 55, 60% now. It's, right, it's, yeah. it's leveled out a lot, but yeah. been doing JoJo. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it, was, yeah, it was crazy though. It, and that's like oh, all the YouTubers in anime were yeah. all dudes. There was like one or two girls, but it was yeah. all dudes. So yeah. every time I turned up to like an Anituber meetup, Everyone's like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> how has he got 200K? How, do, how does how did he get that? How, yeah. how do none of us know who he is? Why does this guy from Virginia have 200,000 subscribers? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, so I mean, that's how I met Gone. And then yeah. uh, we went from there, really. Yeah, can I tell the story about how the first time we yeah, met in sure. person? Yeah, because- Because I don't know where you're going to start this Okay, story so the first time we met in person, yeah. so- um, it was like AX 2000 and is it 17? It was 16, 16 or 17. I think, I, th I think so I knew Joey. I didn't know that he knew who I was. <laughs> right, and vice versa. Yeah. I knew Gun, but I didn't know if he knew me. <laughs> yeah, so this was back when I had, like if you didn't know, I took a hiatus on, um, on YouTube for like two years because I got a real time, a real job and everything like that. And in that time I had gone from being like one of the most popular anime YouTubers to just, you know, someone who had taken hiatus. And in that time, Joey had like exploded. Mm. Like you, you were, you reached numbers that back in my time, I didn't know was even fucking possible. Like right, you, yeah. you were like close to a million. You were like, you're like hot shit at the time. Yeah. So the first time, You're welcome. <laughs> so the first time um, I saw Joey, we were like in Little Tokyo or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember exactly where it was too. It was that part in like the back half of Little Tokyo. Yeah. Like right, it's, it's like underneath a building, and you go into where the. Uh, it's like a figurine shop right yeah, at the yeah, end. Yeah. yeah, and you were walking with Jeff, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right, Jeff. Um, Cause I think Jeff said hello to Misty cause they're both tall motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> they're like two meters tall. <laughs> so it was just like standing next to two fucking skyscrapers while we're just hanging out. Yeah. Mm. And I remember looking at you and you looked at me and we didn't say shit to each other. <laughs> And I thought this so I thought this motherfucker must hate me. <laughs> this 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 motherfucker hates me. And at the same time, I like Gun and I like looked at each other in the eyes and in my head I was like, this guy definitely hates me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy hates my guts. So I'm just like, man, Joey's such an arrogant piece of shit, man. I can't I can't, I can't believe this guy. I remember we shook hands. <laughs> yeah. We were like, hi, I'm Joey, nice to meet you. You're like, hi, I'm Gun, nice to meet you. And that was it. And that was it, that was that it. Was it. <laughs> Wow. It was so awkward. It was. I never heard this story. Yeah, it yeah, like yeah. A sterile meeting. Well, because the only people who were there was Misty, Jeff, and Aki. Yeah, yeah. I think, oh. and us two. So yeah. it was like very small. Yeah. And then what? Like fast forward, like what? Two years? I think it was just. I think it was next year. Or it, it might. It might have been even less than that when I came to a trip. Uh, went on to a trip to Japan or something. Mm. Um, and then and you randomly DM'd me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, for some reason, he follows me. So may maybe he doesn't <laughs> hate me. I don't, maybe I don't know. He's cool. Cool. Maybe he's cool. So yeah, we we DM'd each other and then we met in Japan and then we just like instantly, instantly just like fucking great friends, you yeah, know, yeah. From, from that point. We went to an Izakaya, no, we met up in Akihabara. Yeah. And we like hung out a little bit and then we went to an Izakaya in Ueno. Yeah, yeah. Till like two yeah. in the morning or something. Yeah. Like something ridiculous like that. We missed the last train. Yeah. And then we were like- Wow, it sounds like a romance. <laughs> I know. We missed the last train. We had so much fun together. <laughs> Cause we had the moment when we just, we, we were sitting in, in the Iza, uh, Izakaya yeah. and I was like, I thought you hated me. And, and I was, was like, like, I thought you hated me. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't hate each other, high five. <laughs> and yeah, um, and then after that, uh, we had like a karaoke night where we- Yeah, I think it was like a few days later. Wasn't yeah, it? and I think that's when the seeds of the podcast were sown, I think, because we were up to, we missed the last train and we were just with karaoke with each other and Sydney and there was like two other people. Yeah. And then everyone else had fallen asleep, but it was just 
us two and one other guy. Right. It was like it was like five a.m. I don't even remember who the other guy was. I don't, like, I don't remember either. He Poor was, guy. Like, like he detail. wasn't like a friend of Gant or mine. No, no. He was just a dude. Was he was no. just. A, he didn't know who we were. Like yeah. he didn't know that we were like anime YouTubes or anything. No. So we were up at five a.m. drunk as shit, and then me and Joey just start hosting this panel. <laughs> For this one guy, right? Uh, we, each had a, we each had like a karaoke microphone each, like echoey as shit. And we were just like, welcome to the panel. And there's just one dude across the table being like, woo! Cause yeah, he, he didn't know who we, we were, but yeah. we still just hosted this anime panel for him. I don't know if wow. he, I didn't even know if he, if he watched anime or not, but I'm no like, idea. Joey, what's your um, opinion on Baki Monogatari? Who is best girl? And that just went off for like an hour. Yeah, and this went on for like an hour. And then after that, we were like, we need to host a panel together. Yeah. And uh, we managed to do that last year at AX. Which was awesome. First time, that was amazing. Yes. Yeah, like two, three years in the making. And in between that, we were like, surely we got to make a podcast oh, sometime yeah. there. Sometime and, here are, and here we are after fucking, what, three or four years? Maybe? Yeah. yeah. From like first conception. Yeah. And like even like planning this whole podcast out as well, like took a very, very long time. Yeah, because this is actually a studio for it. So yes, so we had to like nightmare. get our own studio, as you can see. As you can see, we're still working on it. We're yeah. still working on it, but give us some time, stick okay. around for that. Just like getting a studio in in Japan, oh my God. near Tokyo, my fucking God. <laughs> Don't even get me started on how hard that was, okay? It's fucking impossible. I'm, I'm sure we can talk about in future our experiences with just renting and yeah. all that stuff in Japan, my God. But yeah, yeah no. I, you know what's funny when you guys are like, you said you like just clicked like that after you guys start talking. It's yeah. so like, I think that happens easily when you're both like around the same like sub thing. Cause there's no question if you're trying to leech off each other. Right, right. right. Yeah, yeah. Cause I remember like when I, when I first started and when I was trying to like, when we were like first like hanging out, I always felt like, man, do they wonder if I'm just like a leech or something? Cause like <laughs> I had like 150, 200 and they had like million plus, right? So you yeah. just get this thing in your head. You're like, man, am I, am I, am I like leeching? Do they think that? But then like when you get like, I think now I don't give a shit. Cause like, I, I mean, you know, I, I mean like concerning you and I, yeah. like we popped off very naturally yeah. because uh, spoiler, we never ended up doing that no, fucking no, rap no, battle. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that just like disappeared because I think <laughs> the first time I like publicly did something with you yeah. was on your stream. Yeah, yeah, you did. And we yeah, played Bro Force together for like three hours. Yeah, those or highlights something. are still up on, on YouTube as oh, well. Oh really? Yeah, they are, yeah. And yeah. Yeah, and then I think we just, I played a lot of games on your stream with you. Mm. And then I think we just hung out at AX and it just went. And then because obviously- Because we play like Metal Slug and shit on my- Oh yeah, Metal Slug's sure. one of like my favorite games. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I think yeah. we just did British things and met up and got drunk. <laughs> did British yeah. things. Yeah. That's I mean, just like, I feel like it's so easy to befriend other British people. Cause it's yeah. just like, we just get it. I don't know. No, like going off to what you said about feeling like you're leeching from someone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's weird, right? Because you, as someone who's been in the position of, you know, not, you know, being a smaller YouTuber and a larger YouTuber, yeah. um, it's, you can kind of get a sense just from meeting a person, especially if you meet them in real life, right? Mm. Online, it's so fucking difficult That's to, true. to gauge what a character, what someone's character is actually like. And, you know, if they're trying to, you know, leech off you yeah. or get clout or whatever. But especially at an event like AX. Oh I've, my God. Where the real person comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you can definitely get a better judge of character at a convention or meeting someone in real life like yeah. at a big event like AX. I think there's also a lot with that is that when you're at AX, I think some people think, okay, I've only got five minutes with mm. this guy and yeah. I've got to like befriend him. Yeah. So they, I think they like, sometimes they go overboard with like trying to impress you where it's like, what the? is this guy? Like, <laughs> I mean, one thing I've noticed yeah. with when it comes to like, cause I've been to so many conventions where yeah. like people have come up to me just for that like five minutes that they have time with somebody yeah. to like just, I don't want to say kiss ass, but you know, when someone's trying to kiss <laughs> ass you, right? Yeah. Or like, but like the thing is, is that like at least earlier on when I would meet people like that and they're trying to be nice to me during those five minutes, yeah. I didn't know if they were just trying to kiss my ass or if they were genuinely nice people. Yeah. But the one, way I found it is if they can, I guess like may try and maintain that friendship with you and try and stay contact with you yeah. after that event, then I think they're like genuinely nice people. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I don't want to make it sound like we're all fucking assholes who think we have like really <laughs> big egos. cunts who don't yeah. like apply to anything. <laughs> I'm, 
talking <laughs> uh, hearing about how you just messaged Connor back from just that one email yeah I also remember the point when I would just try to like talk to everyone and collab yeah, with everyone. Yeah, same, same. But then you get to a point when you see that 90% of these emails and 90% of these people talking to you don't actually mean what they mean or are looking for something. And you get a sense for, you get a sense for that as time goes by. Mm. So it's, I, it's- I feel like you just glance at an email now and you know what, what, they're, what they're up to, like what yeah. they're trying to get Usually at. Usually yeah. for starts with, I'm 13 years old. Then, <laughs> <laughs> then that's something you just need to insta delete. <laughs> Actually, here's a question for you. What's the weird, I, I know you've got some stories of this, Connor. Oh God. What are some of like the weirdest fan emails you've ever received? <laughs> I get, I, just like, I, I get them every week. Right. I, I, I like to say every week, but it's like, I've gotten somewhere. It's just like, I, I genuinely think like, I'm actually scared to open it. Even yeah. though there's like no attachments, no links or anything, <laughs> not even a subject title. Yeah. It's literally just, I open it and it says, you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, opening an email like that at like midnight is like the scariest shit ever. Because I'm just like, did my computer just get hacked? I don't, I don't know if this is like an elaborate like trojan or, or if it's just like a 10 year old who's learning to use email for the first time. Like, <laughs> I'm like, thanks, but who are you? <laughs> Or, yeah. or when they just send a link, that's creepy. Oh, oh yeah, that, you yeah, send a creepy. link. <laughs> it's like, do I click? It? No, no, that's always never a click sauce. A link. Yeah, yeah. Man, I don't know. I've got so many stories, I guess, of emails. Uh, because I guess it's my fault because I kind of encouraged it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've made multiple videos where I've got content from my email. Sometimes it's good, but then also, I think now since I've joined an agency, I feel bad for the mm -hmm. agency where they sometimes <laughs> see the shit I get sent. <laughs> Luckily, I've, I I normally like delete the ones that I know are like like just trolling before yeah, yeah, my yeah. agency can see it because mm, I don't yeah. want some Japanese worker opening my email and it being like, hey, I think you're dummy thick and I'm 13 by the way. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's like you get stuff where they'll say like they they want to date you and they'll put their 13 and like it's just like it's just is this Chris Hansen walk, yeah. is Chris Hansen emailing me yeah. like. Um, <laughs> I think I've spoke about this in a video once, but there was a someone who uh, emailed me and I still remember this cause like I had an interact, I, I replied to it. Mm. And it was this interaction where um, they sent me a script of phone sex that we were gonna have. So it what? was like, it was like, what? I actually still have the script. I'm not gonna read it out cause right. there's more to the story. There's the reason why I decided to not make it into a video, yeah. but it was like a script and it was, <laughs> it, it was, First, it was one script was me and her, and there was also a music set list that she'd chosen. <laughs> so there was when the music would play. She had the music <laughs> chosen. <laughs> so you in the end by Lincoln Park. No, no. <laughs> the worst part was it was like pour some like sugar on me, oh and like God. it was uh, you know like the cheesiest songs. Yeah, yeah. And so I thought in my head because back then I read all of them in depth, and I thought, wow, this is a video idea if I can like keep right. this going. Right. And there's also another script where it was me having gay sex with Sebastian Michaelis. Of course. Of course. I mean, that would be expected. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny expect. that that's like not the weirdest story. Uh, I'm, we, su we, I'm surprised we... you didn't make a video on that. Well, okay, <laughs> so here's why, and, and I, I feel bad. I hope this person isn't watching. So I interacted with them a bit and they were like, obviously I knew they were gonna be strange, right? Cause yeah, who yeah. sends an email like that? <laughs> yeah. And I, I started interacting with them more and more. And then they started sending me way too much information about themselves. There's right. also another guy who sent me his birth certificate, by the way, that's a whole nother what? email. Ooh, uh, don't do that. Yeah, don't, that's dangerous. Don't do that. I didn't ask for it. His, his opening email was was, here's my birth certificate, driving license address. And I was like, what is, <laughs> what is wrong with you? I also mentioned this. I don't know which video I said, I mentioned all this, but yeah. So they, I replied to this uh, person. I kept replying with them because they kept replying with really funny stuff. Right. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I can get an amazing video out of this. Yeah. And then well, the one thing they said, which made me think, okay, now I just have to like completely scrap all this is that they said like, oh, here are my hobbies, hobbies, blah, blah, blah. By the way, I'm in the Special Olympics team for the USA. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God, what? what? No, no, no. What? <laughs> like why you shouldn't be sending me this? And then I, I explained to them, you know, I was like, hey, maybe you shouldn't send this email to me. And you yeah. know, I don't think this is like yeah. an appropriate way. And I'm really sorry for like messing with your time and stuff. And I just, it was a whole thing where I was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm an asshole and Jesus Christ. Like, yeah. what the fuck? And, but yeah, there's so many emails where I've gotten where, I mean, I made a whole video where I went on a date with someone and I like, yeah. it was a, a date yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. from an email. That oh was God. scary watching that video. You were like, like, Connor's gonna get canceled. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like this kid's gonna get stabbed. I, like, yeah, I remember, I remember you pitching that video idea to me and I'm just like, 
Connor, I don't, I don't know if that's the best idea, but I, I mean, it turned out a good video. Yeah, I, I pitched yeah, it to like 10, 10 of our friends and everyone yeah. was like, whoa, 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 <laughs> Connor, Connor, no, don't do that, don't do that. I love how Aki, my girlfriend, was like genuinely worried for you. It's like, I really don't think. I, well, I, I felt, think Connor's I, going to die. Like, I think if you watch the video, they felt more concerned for the girl because we turned up with like me, Evan, Mudan, and another guy <laughs> and just one like girl. Yeah, and dudes. just like one girl alone, right? So like, you know, it, but it was, like, all, it was all wholesome in the end. It was all wholesome. Yeah, she's yeah, really yeah. nice about it. Yeah. And you know, she, she liked the video, so that was good. Jesus just, Christ. She just walked into a casting yeah. couch. All right. I guess like, I don't get right, so- Top, top that, top yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I can't top that, I can't top that. Because I actually, I actually don't get that many weird emails or weird fan mails. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I guess, I guess it's because I mostly talk about anime and it's, <laughs> it's, it's less about my own personality, yeah. I guess. I don't know, I guess like one weird email I got recently um, which wasn't even an email to me, right? So someone used my email and pretended to be me and emailed Studio Wit, right? <laughs> okay, okay, I, I got the email here actually. They emailed Studio Wit pretending to be me because yeah. they used my email and I got a notification from the official Studio Wit. <laughs> like, you know, you know, like the automatic notification yeah, that, yeah, says, yeah. that says, hey, you've submitted this email to okay, us. Okay. Yeah. okay, so the email reads, hello. I am anime reviewer Gigguk. <laughs> I will make a request of you. Many people want Eren and Mikasa to have a relationship. <laughs> Eren x Mikasa. I think no if way. this happens, many people will enjoy the anime more. <laughs> this sure has to be that? a troll. This has to be a troll. I would be pleased with the development of events in this direction. That was, that's how it was. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you will evaluate my proposal. I wish you good day. Man, I wish you good day. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like the email I sent you. Contact me for more yeah. so we can figure out the logistics. We can figure out the logistics of Aaron X Mikasa. <laughs> Oh my god. You know, let's just completely bypass Isayama. Just go straight to wit. Just be like, <laughs> they have the, they have like, the final you, say. Fuck you, Isayama. We're doing this. <laughs> like, I like how they just emailed Studio Wit, who has no creative control over how Attack on Titan's gonna end anyway. I really want, I really wish that like Studio Wit took that email seriously and like actually hooked up like Isayama being like, so uh, this popular <laughs> anime reviewer <laughs> wants- You know Gigguk, right? Yeah, we yeah, you know Gigguk, right? Gigguk UK? Uh, he, he wants Eren and Mikasa together? <laughs> yeah. Do you think that's possible? Like, can you make this a thing? Can yeah. you please make this a thing? Hey, season four Attack on Titan. I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> hey, you never know, man. Like none of us have caught up on the manga, right? Yeah. No, so, no, no. no, might, no. It might happen. I feel yeah. like I feel like it's a crime to. And if it does happen, we manga. can thank a certain email. <laughs> <laughs> if Aaron X Mikasa is a thing, I know. Yeah, I I know who caused <laughs> fake <laughs> fake gun gets all the credit. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, I think. I mean, I think. Oh, okay. Break out the beers. This has been a long time coming. Welcome to, to Trash Taste Podcast. If you uh, yeah, if you if you want to know, uh, drinking is going to be a, a, a quite frequent occurrence on this show. Yeah. So uh, really get used to it. Yeah. So that was I, I didn't imagine our intro was going to be that long. I've, I, in my head, you I was didn't like, "Come by, bitch." Yeah. Oh, sorry. sorry. Jesus sorry. Christ. I'm Jesus. Alcoholic, yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> oh, finally. No. Um. Man, I think. It, would you guys all say that Attack on Titan season four is your most? Anticipated, absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. How, how do you even match that hype at this point? Wait, is okay. it next season? It's uh, it was meant to be airing this fall, I think. Mm, no, this happen. summer, I believe. No, it was definitely it was fall. It was really, like, <laughs> yeah. Um, You're wrong, Joey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have gone up against the guy who <laughs> email studio. <with. laughs> he's, got like, he's got a personal yeah. contact that way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's airing, it was scheduled to air next fall. Right. And I've heard from, because I made a video about the first mm. three seasons of Attack on Titan, and I've heard from pretty much everyone who's read the manga that season four is going to be the best season. Oh no, I, I have also heard that. I mean, yeah. even if it was just mediocre, I feel like it, we'd still like, just think it's amazing. Cause like the journey to get there has been mm. so, yeah. and this last part was, oh my God. God, oh, every episode was, was a banger. Insane. My God, like it's so rare that you get to see a series just improve over time yeah, yeah. Mm. every season. Because I remember when Attack on Titan season one was airing, right? Yeah. And I was, it was great, yeah. it was great. But I felt like 
it was very forgettable in the sense of, well, I remember when season two aired, I didn't remember anything that happened in season one. You know one. what? I remember specifically in your video of the like seasonal review, you said, remember the attack on Titan? And then you just play cricket noises and moved on. <laughs> and and I, I remember being like, what? I'm watching attack on Titan season two. It's good, I think. No, but like, I no, I do agree though, that like season two, cause season one, when I watched it, I was like, okay, this the is hype cool. was insane. Yeah. yeah. And then season one. two came around and I actually dropped it. No, because, no one cared during season because, two. Yeah, because I think I think what it was was that because season one was you know all about like the action and just like building the world. And yeah. then season two was a lot of politics and yeah. a lot of talking. Yeah. yeah, season two just took the pace because season one was like a fucking roller coaster. You were going up and down every few wow. episodes. It was yeah. like, you didn't know what was gonna happen, yeah. but it to me it felt a bit empty. And season two felt yeah. much slower paced. It was more of like a slow burn when they focus more on the characters. Yeah. But I actually got really drawn into the world way more into season two. But by the time season two ended, I was like, okay, I'm now way more invested, but nothing really big has happened. Cause it was 12 right. episodes. Right? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. only 12 episodes. I think everyone was like, what the fuck? We've waited four years or something for 12 episodes. <laughs> yeah. Well, because they rushed it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The they didn't yeah. expect it, but yeah. I mean, definitely I think in season three, when that scene with Levi came out, mm -hmm. as I think when it just exploded, oh, everyone's yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. everyone saw that gif on Twitter and was like, "I gotta fucking catch up. Like yeah. this, is, this is insane." No. Like just thinking about that scene, like gives me goosebumps. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so good. It's so good. Because uh, I remember season three, part one. I enjoyed so fucking much. It was oh, so yeah. good. Because I, so I didn't realize I could care about the politics that much in yeah. Attack on Titan. Because I remember by the time season three started, I was enjoying Attack on Titan for completely different reasons than yeah. season one. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. I, I can say the same thing about every season. Right. So I've heard season four is going to be completely different, completely different to what's previously been. Um, because I mean like, uh, fuck, I've, I don't remember when it was, but me and Aki went to the Attack on Titan exhibit mm. that they did in Roppongi. Mm -hmm. um, and basically it was really tough because what, what they did was essentially, they really catered to the manga readers, unfortunately. Yeah. And I am not the manga reader. So in like the later rooms of the exhibit, they, they basically like on all the walls, they would have like the original Gengar of the manga. Right, like right. in these frames, which is fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. But then as you got further down the exhibit, they would start showing stuff that hadn't been adapted yet. Right. So I was like, all right, let's just, let's just let's start <laughs> cover my <laughs> cover cover my eyes. But obviously there was just some stuff that I couldn't really avoid seeing. Yeah. yeah. And the the tiny little bits that I did see out of context, I was like, what the fuck? Wow. <laughs> there is no fucking way that's happening. And then to top it off, there was this room. This was like a really experimental move on them their part, but mm -hmm. there was this room that you had to go into and it was a completely pitch black room. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's just audio playing on the speakers in this pitch black room. Yeah. And what that audio is, is it's audio of what Isayama envisions the final chapter of Attack on Titan to be. Uh, that's so so he's, just he's just handing he, the spoiler yeah. card. So there's no visuals. There's no visuals. It's just audio. audio. And it's what he envisions it will sound like and when so adapted you heard, you into heard an all anime. of it. The only thing we heard was a lot of like background noises and like ambient noises yeah. and uh, and uh, Mikasa yelling Eren from a long way away. Okay, that could mean anything. <laughs> Which could mean anything. I mean, like I'm, I'm obviously not doing the audio justice, but it sounded yeah, can epic. We, can we get a one-to-one reenactment <laughs> right now? <laughs> it was just like <laughs> Wow. That's all it was. Yeah. <laughs> Just a Wilhelm scream in there as well. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, but I mean, I'm obviously not doing the audio yeah, justice, yeah. but it sounded like when I when I just like closed my eyes and heard that, I yeah. was like, wow, I've never been more excited for an anime in my life. But it's good to know that the anime and the manga will end with Mikasa screaming Eren yeah, as she has done- That's technically a spoiler. As that's she uh, has done for the entire fucking series. <laughs> so. I mean, is there, I mean, with the track record that Attack on Titan has right now, I mean, it's, I mean, every episode, I, you could argue has been really good, right? I mean, the yeah. story's just been, there's no like faults in the story so far, right? It's holding up pretty well. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd yeah. say it's been building on its story. Right, really well. Really, really well. Like what, if this, if they nail this ending, what like category is this in of like- Masterpiece. Master Masterpiece. What, what would you put it as like in the, like anime in the same category then if it killed th this last season? <sighs> My fucking God. Like, cause um, could it even be in its own thing where like no anime is like as good? I, I would say- That's hard. That's, <laughs> okay. that's, that's <laughs> hard to say. That's a big statement right yeah. there. But, but I mean, how I'm just trying to think how many like, 
how how many anime series have there been where it's stretched out for I mean over 50 episodes and over 50 it. episodes like let's say four or five seasons and has like killed it this hard yeah I would say it be similar to something like Full Metal Alchemist, Hunter Hunter. Although I'd, I'd say it's, I haven't seen Full Metal Alchemist. I yeah. get that's, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> my fan I'm base, out, I'm my, out, my, I'm my, my fan base knows this. It's a big fucking meme, but <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist is that one anime I, that I haven't seen. We all have that one anime I mean, that yeah. we I guess seen. when I think about it, I, you know, Hunter Hunter for it's, I mean, it hasn't ended though, which is probably the yeah, problem that, where you that, couldn't argue that's it's thing. in the same class, but yeah. I guess for Malakas Brotherhood, maybe you could. Yeah, yeah, because you never know, like Hunter Hunter might, I'm hoping yeah. not, but you never know, but Hunter Hunter might end up like a Yu Yu Hawk show. Yeah, where the yeah. ending's it's, just like- yeah. I, I think that's the problem is that I think everyone's kind of beginning to accept that I think slowly. so, yeah. Because the world is just, especially now with the dark continent stuff, yeah. which, uh, you know, it's a load of stuff with Hunter Hunter, but it's looking like it's even more ambitious than yeah. before. And he's not releasing chapters. No. Oh, well, he is at a very slow rate. It's 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 gonna take a whole lifetime to catch up. But uh, going back to Attack on Titan, mm. I think I called it like, if if it's if, even if it was of the quality of season three part two, yeah. and it ended of ended in that quality, it would be a modern classic. Oh, for sure, in my, for sure. In my yeah. If it's even better than that, I have no fucking clue. But that makes me so excited. That makes yeah, the me fact that we so, might be getting the fact that, that there's a possibility of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is just nuts. I, yeah. I think yeah. the last time I was possibly that excited for like a follow up was uh, One Punch Man season two. Um, <laughs> we all know how that happened. <laughs> And like it wasn't okay. I rewatched a few clips recently of One Punch Man season two, and it like wasn't that bad. I think it's just we set our expectations disgustingly high. No, it wasn't bad. It was painfully mediocre. It was like Seven Deadly Sins season one, and then it like. <laughs> so what I'm hoping, <laughs> what I'm hoping is that the next season, assuming we get another one of One Punch Man, is that right. it doesn't go to Seven Deadly Sins <laughs> season three. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that shit is still. I, like I haven't seen any of Seven Deadly Sins. I don't know anything about it. Never read the manga, never watched no. the anime, but not gonna lie, there's a part of me when I saw footage of season three, mm. yeah, I was like, I kind of want to watch this now just to see it devolve <laughs> into this current state. <laughs> like I, I remember because the fight that they fucked up was one of the Man, most hyped fights. Is, uh, yeah, in the <laughs> manga, cool. right? That's what I heard. Yeah, it was one yeah. of the most hyped fights. And then they fucked it up so much that fan animation of that fight that was released before looked better than the official <laughs> fight. <laughs> because when, when I found out about that scene, someone put it up on Twitter and had to preface it by saying, no, this is not a fan animation. <laughs> this is the official episode. Because everybody in that tweet was like, is this fan made? <laughs> this has to be fan yeah, made. Right? Yeah. This is like some guy who like just learned how to use flash like a week ago. Like, just, you know what sticks out in my mind? That kick, the kick, <laughs> the kick. When, I, when that gif first came out and I saw the kick, which you're probably seeing on screen right now, I fucking lost it, man. Oh my God, I laughed so hard. It, I, I don't think I'd ever, like I'd watched all of Seven Deadly Sins up until that point. Right. And like, I wasn't like a huge fanboy, but every time a new season was announced for the OVAs, I'd watch them. Yeah. I'd never so quickly lost interest in a series just from seeing that one screenshot of Meliodas like, getting up from the bed. <laughs> I, I was like, what did they do to him? What did they do to him? <laughs> like, we've, we've never seen anything, like, has that happened in anime before? Like where a season has like, so drastically like changed, like changed studios and lost. I'm sure animation. like I, if you I, dig I, through I, I like- know, I know there have been, and I know I'm, I'm going to kill myself for not remembering uh, like what this is, but there's been so many times that, <laughs> That drastic though? Yeah. Like, there's been maybe, a few examples. Be. Maybe, maybe because yeah. the difference was is when it happened back then is that there wasn't Twitter and when it happens now, oh, you know when it happens now. Yeah, exactly. There was yeah. just like a bunch of like otakus but, just <laughs> gathering being like, eat seen only a season and shit. Like, like the, the only thing I can think of right now is like off the top of my head is Berserk. Oh which, God. Which, oh, I, God. It's, it, I mean, it's changed studio, but it was technically a okay. continuation. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What's worse then? Berserk, the, the, uh, the second adaptation of Berserk or the seven deadly Sins the new season. Berserk. Really? Berserk. I'd say yeah. Berserk, yeah. That, okay. Right. Because I mean like, you know, I'm saying that from like a hardcore Berserk fan. I haven't read the manga, so I- Yeah, would, see, yeah because yeah. if you've read the, if you've read the manga, and I I'm sure everybody read. who's read the manga <laughs> can agree with this, but like, I have never wanted to like cry from sadness. Watching <laughs> anime. I'm like, how could they do my boy guts like that? And I'm like, I've, uh, yeah, it was just, 
because the Berserk adaptation was just a failure on pretty every much level. every level yeah. from like the animation, which everyone likes to point out, but like the composition, the sound design. I mean, if, if you've heard, if you heard that like, bang, yeah. like sound that, that it's just, what, how did you get this? Who did you hire to yeah, do the sound what design? What artist like <laughs> fucking came up with that sound? <laughs> like, how did you see this big fucking, Iron sword and just like Get let's let's pull Get out a, a cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> just, <fucking. laughs> just just do a, do a JoJo, make everything a gunshot. Just yeah, like exactly. every every punch <sighs> kick. I mean, that would have been even better. Can I, Honestly, can, can I talk about JoJo sound design? I love JoJo sound design so much because sound design is something that people don't normally talk about. Right. Yeah. No, no, no. And you don't, you don't, you don't really, you don't really hear people. Um, it's like voice acting, right? When it's done well, you don't yeah. notice. Yeah. So with JoJo sound design, mm. it's one of the few shows where if you hear, if you hear like a sound, you know it's from JoJo. You, you know, the, you know the exact stand, and you know the like. Sometimes it's the exact episode and the exact fight because they're yeah. they're yeah. that recognizable and they're like not generic at all, and. I fucking love JoJo sound design because the reason why I think the anime is as good as it is, one of the reasons is that the sound design is so fucking good. Mm. Like, have you guys seen the, um, I assume you guys have seen the JoJo OPs where they add the sound effects. Yeah, and yeah. it's oh, so yeah, much yeah, better, yeah, yeah. isn't it? So cool. I don't know why they don't do that for the the airing versions. I yeah. mean, it's it's not really what you see in an OP, right? Right, yeah, yeah I guess, I guess. It is, it is pretty unconventional. But I mean, yeah. there's so many sounds that you could say like iconic. Like when you hear that that gunshot for the punch, you know it's a JoJo punch. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. And it, and it makes it sound so meaty. It's great, I oh, love it. I love Just it. the punching sounds. Like every it's time, cool. you know, like there's like a Muda or like a- Oh yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Or, or an Aura Aura, and like- I, just the, 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 like the, yeah. it is almost like gun like, isn't it? It's it like is. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it's like gunshot. Like yeah. you can hear yeah. it, it's a gunshot. Like, yeah. and then obviously the Zawardo time stop, <laughs> which I feel like has almost become the universal sound of stopping yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, it's, yeah the, exactly. it's the Zawardo. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also, you know, the, I mean, if you're talking about music alone, my God, the new season absolutely killed it. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. It, it, it's like, the, I, I think I think uh, Super I Part 12, John said this in, in uh, his review of Golden Wind. And I feel the same way. Like this is, Golden Wind was the first adaptation of a JoJo where I think the anime is better because you lose yeah. so much when you take away that sound and especially the music. When you hear that Jorno's theme, come on, oh. Jorno's theme, Jorno's theme is one of the few tracks in anime that has been memed to death. Yeah, it is, I, it is our Megalovania. And I have not <laughs> I, I have not gotten bored of it no. it's so at good. all, at all. It's, every, it's, like, every version I've heard of Jorno's theme, I've equally just been like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so like a piano version, metal version, I don't care. It's always been so good. Like and, when, and, yeah, go on, sorry. when we can go back to the gym, some, <laughs> some of the best music to put when you're working out is JoJo's. It works so well. And I know it should work well, but man, when that piano hits, <laughs> you're doing an extra rep, no wow. matter how tired you are. You're doing that extra rep. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so good. It's almost too hype sometimes though. Yeah, you're, yeah. Like, you're like, oh shit, I gotta keep doing this rapper. I'm dying right now. <laughs> Don't let my boy Jojo down. Yeah. Speaking of anime adaptations though, uh, there is one topic I would like to cover because it is quite timely. Yeah. But uh, just yesterday actually, recording mm -hmm. over, as of us recording mm -hmm. this episode, uh, I found, or I, I guess Aki found, that somebody is adapting uh, Killing Stalking. I mean, it's not an official- This needs, this needs the biggest quote marks yeah, yeah, yeah. ever. Adapting. Adapting Killing Stalking you into mean, an anime. You mean it's not an official anime adaptation like everyone on Twitter thinks it is? Oh, okay. <laughs> it was like, the problem was the original Twitter post that blew this up said an official adaptation. Of, and then yeah. in the replies to that tweet, they doubled down saying, it, yeah, it was all official. But the thing that caught my eye is the picture that everyone was retweeting. Right. The three pictures of uh, this tweet. Uh, one of them was like chaos up studio. I'm like, what the fuck is a chaos up studio? Yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck? So like, yeah, so like, cause cause Aki found that on a timeline and was like, holy shit, they're making a killing stalking anime adaptation. I'm like, right. really? Let me see. And I saw the pictures. I'm like, the first two. Looked they look legit. legit. Yeah, they look legit. Yeah. And it was like coming soon, 2020. I was like, oh shit, okay. And then I looked at the last one and it was like chaos up studio. I'm like, yeah, yeah, right. Who? <laughs> Who the fuck? Is, what is the studio? I legitimately had to look it up on Wikipedia, being like, yeah. maybe it's just one of because you know, recently there've been so many fucking Japanese anime studios yeah, that have just yeah. come out with like ridiculous names. So I'm like, oh, it's probably just one of those. Exactly. I looked it up and I'm like, nope, it's literally just one dude. <laughs> it's one dude. 
but but I feel bad for the whoever's making this because like my god, the amount of hype they just got thrusted on them, and everyone's assuming this is like legit. Yeah, I mean, how did the hype just happen? Did it, did they it's just literally just the tweet? Just yeah. the tweet. Yeah. yeah, the the original tweet, I think, as of us recording, I think has like forty thousand likes and like twenty thousand retweets or something. Wow, like, because killing stalking fans are. <laughs> they are ruthlessly dedicated. And also the thing was, I saw in a lot of in the replies is that people weren't questioning whether like it was legit. People were just questioning, should it get an adaptation? And right. that was the main argument. I think that's why it was getting so many Do you many guys retreats. think it should get an adaptation? Uh, I mean, let, let, me, let, me answer the, uh, let me change the question. Have you guys read it? I've no. read the first like story. What is it like? Cause it came out in like stories, right? It's like seasons. I yeah, see. I watched, I read the first season and I quite liked it. And you know, mm. it's a lot, yeah. but I feel like it, from what I've heard as well, it handles it quite well towards the end. Yeah, I have uh, I did a video on it. I actually looked back on when I did my video of it. Yeah. It was four years ago. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah, it was was like, it that long ago? Yeah. And- I remember you releasing that like, <laughs> yeah, like yesterday. Yeah, I know, it right? does seem like yesterday. Yeah, yeah I thought yeah. it was only like maybe like a year or two ago. Yeah, it was yeah. four years ago. And that's because I only reviewed the first season because I think the series ended like, I think it was like last year. Yeah. Maybe? Like yeah, over a year like, ago, yeah. but there was like a huge gap, right? So I've only really seen or read like the first half of it. Um, and it was, you know, it was uh, marketed as like, mm. oh, it's a really hardcore, like gruesome yaoi. So, yeah. you know, all these fangirls getting on it. And I was like, okay, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it as much because I'm not exactly the target demographic, but I'll give it a go. And it was like a genuinely good story. Like, yeah, yeah it had yaoi elements in it, but mm-hmm. you know, I'm an adult, I can handle that, right? Yeah, yeah. So exactly. other than that, if you take away the yaoi yeah. elements, it's just a really, really good horror mystery. But when I saw that they were going to make a quote unquote anime adaptation for it, I was like, I don't, I don't know. Cause immediately what I thought of is all of these other like over sexualized series yeah. getting anime adaptations recently. Cause right? as someone who hasn't read it, seems like it's a very sexual it's, story that would have to be heavily censored. It is hardcore. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like, as well, I think it also has such like, it's divided a lot of community because I think a lot of people really sexualize it yeah. when it's just a really fucked up dynamic. Yeah. And a lot of, I mean, a lot of a really deep shit of like possessiveness and, and, and all that, but if you're thinking about reading it, it's it's a lot. Like it, it yeah, is Yeah, go hard. into it with caution, is, definitely. Uh, yeah. Definitely be over the age of 18. Yeah. Uh, we have to legally say that. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I think you should read it, but then also like, I can totally recommend you not to read it. Like it's, your life would be totally fine if you don't read it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll watch <laughs> the anime instead and uh, make, okay, okay. get my opinion there. Talking about the anime, I, yeah. I, I, like I said earlier, I feel bad for the, this person because a lot of people are putting a lot of hype on it. But also what I saw, it's a one man job. Like this guy's doing everything. And and I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, uh, but they seem to be in charge of, they seem to be 3D modelers. I think that's what their trade is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, And I saw the voice acting casting call. uh, And as someone who's, you know, done a lot of voice acting casting calls, I've made my own. I've worked with a lot of professional ones. Like it is, uh, not normal, I'd say. I don't want to be mean what to do you them. Mean not normal? <laughs> I don't want to be mean because they. Are, I don't think they're like that experienced and I think other voice actors are helping them with it. But right. uh, first of all, normally you don't name who's gotten what role publicly. Right. So on this casting call document, which I think we can maybe show on screen for a second, uh, it says like one person who has the role and it's showing publicly. That's not normally the case. Normally it's just here with the lines, audition for it and whatnot. Right. Yeah. Uh, and the way it's laid out is really odd and it's just over, I mean, over Twitter isn't that weird, but there's no mention of pay or anything. Like, I, I guess, I mean, it is, it is a fan-made project, but normally still you, you say if it's paid or not. Yeah. You yeah. normally say how, you know, how many lines they're gonna be. It just, I don't know. It looks like it belongs on like Casting Call Club, which is an amateur voice acting website. Mm. Yeah. Which makes me uneasy. Cause if it is gonna be a USB microphone kind of deal, it's not gonna sound good. Cause there was no, there was no, hey, here's the minimum requirements. You need a sound treated room. There was nothing. It was just, if you want to audition. Yeah. And I saw yeah. the replies to this thread and it was like all 13 year old sounding girls <laughs> auditioning. Yeah, yeah, but that's because the main fucking like readership of yeah, yeah. stalking are 13 year old girls. Yeah. Even though it shouldn't be. <laughs> it's from purely it's, based on context, it should not be. It's, it's yeah. just worrying with these kind of things as well. Cause normally like when I've done plus 18 projects, I normally ask, for proof of ID, yeah. when they, if I cast someone, like they need to show me their ID. And this should definitely be one of those situations where like those those precautions should be taken, yeah. even if it's fan made, right? Like yeah. 
it's not a good look for you if you're, you're getting 13 year old girls to voice in your thing about like, <laughs> you know, it's some yeah. pretty fucked I mean, up shit. Yeah. I mean, it's still very early days. I mean, it, it's from what it sounds like, it sounds like a situation where someone got just way made too the, much press. Got way too much press way too quickly because I have no doubt that they probably have no fucking experience. Because um, I saw on their Twitter actually just this morning yeah. that they tweeted out being like, oh my God, after someone retweeted my thing, I've gained like 10,000 Twitter followers in like overnight. And like, you know, yeah. this person obviously like came from like pretty much close to zero followers. Yeah. So mm. for them, that's a lot. Yeah. That's that's a lot of like pressure just immediately built up on them. Yeah. Because you're going after such like, I don't want to say iconic, but like a very, like very, very dedicated series. No, I think it's not just that as well. Cause I think what really built up the hype as well is we're in like this environment now where webtoons anime they could are, be at, are uh, being yeah. made, you know? Ah, so yeah, it yeah. wouldn't be, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't have been so surprising to mm. say Killing Stalking's getting an anime as opposed to like last year or even two years ago where, you know, we didn't have any precedence for that. But yeah. now with Tower of God airing and uh, God of High School and Noblesse all getting animes, it's yeah. like maybe we're in a new era where people are expecting that their favorite webtoons or their favorite web comics yeah. from whatever countries mm. could get anime adaptations. Yeah, true, true. I mean, to be fair, it, I, I wouldn't be against the idea of it actually getting an official adaptation. Or it, killing Stalking. Yeah, I, I think it could be, definitely make waves. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it would make sense considering that recently there's been like a big trend of like, as I said earlier, like over-sexualized series. Like we've got uh, Shumatsu no Harem getting Yeah, oh my fucking God. Yeah, How yeah. are they gonna handle How that? How are they gonna handle that? Because I, there is legitimately a sex scene every three pages. <laughs> like so, I'm not even kidding. So I, I, I don't know anything about this manga. So wait, yeah. what is it called then? Uh, okay, it's about? called Shumatsu no Harem. Or World's End Harem. World's End okay. Harem. And basically the, the overall plot, I'm oversimplifying this, but basically- It's a hentai plot. Huma yeah, basically, humanity has gone to shit where there is a disease that is killing all males. It's only okay. affecting males. So basically now- You can, you can tell where this is going. I already know where this yeah. is going. <laughs> it's a hentai plot. Know. It's a hentai plot. Yeah. So basically males now are becoming like a commodity. They're, be they're basically being treated like, males that have like survived this disease yeah. Yeah. are basically like treated as like national treasures. Let, let, me, let me guess right. First of all, the difference between this and hentai, right? Is that if it was a hentai, it'd be an ugly bastard. And <laughs> yeah, I guess oh, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's no. a, like a handsome young guy. Yeah, right? no, it's like, like yeah, several yeah. handsome young guys. Okay, well that's yeah, how yeah. it happens. Yeah. Yeah. If it's an ugly bastard, it's a hentai. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. But like the dynamic, see, this is where it differs from a hentai though, is that our main character has like this girl that he's been thinking about his whole life. Yeah. yeah. And basically like doesn't want to just go around and like- yeah. Sex screw, with anyone. Screw, yeah. yeah, sex everyone in order to save humanity. He'd rather keep his like purity for the girl that he's been thinking of. So it's yeah. a Christian. Before, before so it's a Christian. Saving yeah. So it's about, it's so about it's, waiting for the right person. It's basically blue ball, the, the manga. <laughs> Because everyone else, all I, five other guys, are having a fucking great time. They're fucking different chicks every fucking yeah, day. Yeah, they're pretty much they're pretty much like what hentai protagonists okay. should be. I, yeah. I'm not being sold on this, but saying that, I wasn't sold into species reviewers until I watched it, and I right. thought this is pretty funny. It's not going to be as good as species. No? Oh no, no, it, okay, won't okay. it won't be. Interspecies reviewers is like a really weird case because it was something that was definitely, definitely etchy in yeah. the manga. In the manga, in the anime, porn. they just made it porn. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I still like, I, I, I still, I don't know. In species reviewers, to me, is that line between hentai and ecchi because mm. you don't watch interspecies reviewers to jack off, right? But, no, yeah. But the, it's undeniable that there is just a straight up sex scene in it. <laughs> right. That's, Which is really interesting though, because yeah. the one sex scene that everyone was raving on about in the anime, I think it was episode four, I three. believe. Three. three. Episode three was never in the manga. No, yeah. it wasn't. It was it implied, all sex scenes of that series is implied yeah. in the manga, but in the anime, they were just like, eh, fuck it, let's just show it. Yeah, like to put things in perspective, you didn't even see nipple in the manga. No. Oh wow! At all. That, that was that was like Actually, how. No, that's a lie. You did. Really? Yeah, you did see nipple. Oh okay. I would Joey know. Knows. I know all. I own all the volumes. <laughs> you seen this man's Twitter? He knows a nipple when he sees. I own one. all the volumes, and I've enjoyed every single one. Okay, can we talk? But, can we talk about your Twitter in a bit? Can we? Can we, can we please talk about? Why do you want to talk about my Twitter? Because it would make. By the great, way, follow me on Twitter, guys. I have the make, anime man with a one. Clip is what I mean. <laughs> can you please ex 
explain your Twitter and okay. What first do you mean of all, explain my Twitter? Whenever I go on Twitter, right? I don't follow hentai artists on Twitter because I don't need to. Cause this man's got me covered. Cause as you know, on Twitter, when you, <laughs> when you like, when you like a picture, there's a good chance for some reason, especially Joey's of, okay. of specifically, it comes on my Twitter and I must get at least every time I open Twitter, six or seven, like either like full on sex things yeah. or, or like very, very lewd. And it's always Joey. And it's like, I'm like, I, I didn't, I don't follow porn. Oh, it's liked by Joey Bissinger. And it's like, how did you get to this point? Okay, here's what I don't understand, right? Like, y y how many people do you follow on Twitter? Uh, like on average? I think I have 600 something. Okay, yeah, about, 600. About, about that many. Okay, yeah. right? You both follow about over 500 people. Yeah. yeah. And like, this isn't just you two. Like I've had this from like mutual friends of mine. Yeah. Everyone yeah. says it's you. How Everyone. is it that my likes end up on everybody's timeline. <laughs> am I like, am I on like Twitter preferred? Like, or, like what? I have no fucking clue, but it it is, I'd say 70 to 80% of the time I see ludes on my timeline. <laughs> it is you, it is straight this up you. This motherfucker. Because uh, first of all, you're welcome. <laughs> How, okay, because this didn't used to be the case, and yeah. like I swear, you were way more timid about it. How did how did that? Because I, I I'm scared of doing that. Because right. I I don't know. Because I I mean I shouldn't really. Because I basically get half naked in some of my videos. But yeah, um, I don't know. I was guess I was just worried about like just having porn on my uh, thing. But now I guess I, I can get away with because it. Because how like, did you how did you go from not sharing porn to basically just to, be, to, to, to being the the hentai man? I've I've always shared it. That's the thing. Have you? I yeah. swear you didn't. I mean, maybe not as frequently. Now, no, no, no. I swear now you're seeking. I, it. I, I, th I think it's it was just Twitter changing the like button to be basically the retweet yeah, button. Yeah, pretty much. With, yeah, with, that's with, exactly with, what it is. Because I steps. because for for the entirety that I've been on Twitter, yeah. I've liked hentai. Yeah. yeah. Because I've followed hentai like people like hentai artists I like yeah. or like yeah, hentai yeah. artists I've discovered, but I've never retweeted it because of this exact reason. I don't want other people's timelines <laughs> to be filled with hentai. Uh, apparently. But Twitter was just like, hey, let's just like make the like button like a, a retweet. beta yeah. retweet button. I gotta ask how much of your feed is just hentai? That's what I asked. I asked to see his phone. Do, do you want to see it now? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's, it wasn't that bad when I first saw it. Right. I mean, the thing is I don't follow that many hentai artists. Yeah. I know that's hard to believe, yeah. but I, I genuinely don't. The thing is I follow hentai artists that love retweeting other hentai artists. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's where I find all the people. Okay, here. Scroll, yeah. scroll through his Twitter. Why, why don't you scroll right, down my Twitter? Let's see. Let's see how many how many come up. Oh, there because, we go. Okay, right away. One, right away. The one, one in three. Can you tweets? also like every one that appears? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we go to his likes from when this oh, is? Oh fun? yeah, yeah. Go to oh, my yeah. likes. Go to my likes. All right. Oh, there's uh, another one. There's there's two two, two, two in a row. Oh wait, there's a uh, Jimmy Neutron there. That's not anti. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> Neutron. <What? laughs> Who am I following? <laughs> uh, that's basically. Okay, let me okay. Let, while they're looking through the Twitter, let me defend myself real quick. Okay. The reason why I like it is because at the end of the day, these are just drawings, right? There's a difference between liking like actual human porn versus just a picture. This, this man's about to go the hentai's oh. art route, isn't, isn't he? I am I am genuinely one of those people who looks at hentai as art. No, I, I, I totally agree with you. Like. <laughs> You sound like such fucking degenerate. I you, shut the fuck no, up, no, no, no. no, it's off. Shut it's, the, it's off. Shut I, the I assure fuck. you. Listen, I'm, I'm talking on behalf of every hentai lover watching this yeah. episode, including you. I, I like hentai. I just, I, I don't know if I look at it and, be, and like just crack open no. a beer and just enjoy. The Wait, no, no. I've, I've, got, I have gotten to that point, right? I've gotten to the point. <laughs> what you, point? You've, what you've point? seen my, you've seen my fucking room. You see my fucking office, yeah, which is yeah, just like full hentai. of like anime thighs and stuff like that. Because it's gotten to the point where. Sometimes you just see this like drawing of a girl or a thigh or something. And I just don't even get horny anymore. I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just fucking impressed at how, uh, yeah. how <laughs> honestly, good honestly, they make thank it look. You. How good they make it yeah, look. Yeah, that was, that was me when I saw the Meliodas in Seven Deadly Sins <laughs> season three. Uh, when because was because they're up. genuinely like some hentai artists that I've seen and I know of where I'm just like, if you made an all ages manga, yeah, you would sell like crazy. Oh no, and people have people and people have, have one, like one look at like movie. Nanashi who made um fucking Yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I, know, I know. Yeah. Una, put up a picture of it, okay? <laughs> everyone, everyone has seen this chick before. All right. Okay, okay. Nanashi was originally like a hardcore lolly hentai artist. Oh yeah. wow. And he made a really fucking successful all ages comedy manga, which is hilarious. Yeah. 
And like, and then, and even if they don't make all ages stuff, look at artists like Napata, mm. who is like genuinely an amazing artist. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I will like, because you know, we, we've gotten to this point where hentai has just become like, ha ha, anime boobs, hilarious and horny on me. Like it's all yeah. just become like a joke thing. Yeah. I don't want that anymore. I don't, I don't want that. I'm, I'm <laughs> sick of those jokes. I'm like, I, I want to save this topic because I want Stop this- Stop laughing. I, I, I want I'm, this to be a I'm, whole episode. I'm, 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 I, 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 I'm I want to dedicate a whole episode. I, I am ready. I have too many things to say about hentai and yeah. hentai artists that I can't fit it all it's like, in like five minutes. Have like Smash four. like on this episode if you want a hentai <laughs> episode because we're going to do it either way. We're going to do it you anyway. Give these guys like three sips of beer and they just start talking about <laughs> hentai. Like, I it's shouldn't have had a strong zero, <laughs> to be fair. Like, this shit's strong. I, I just, I don't know. Like when I watch hentai, it's like, it's for a service, you know? I guess I, I, I do it to do, <laughs> I, I do the deed, right? Like I don't sit there and like swirl my wine glass and think like- wow. Am I weird? Am I, okay, I, I wanna know. Yes, is probably the answer to this no, no, question. No, no, hold on, shut up. Am you... I weird to be like, sometimes I kind of just want to watch hentai just to enjoy yes, it? Yes, that's totally, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking okay, weird. Come okay. on, he's, no, probably in the, he's probably going through that phase right now. No, that's no, why no, he's no, unsure. No, no. I, I, I don't, I, I, hentai to me hasn't got to that point. Right. Dojinshi and manga no, 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 has that's what definitely I mean. yeah. gotten to that Doji, point. Right? <laughs> that, see, this is why I love okay. it. There, yeah. is, there, there is no part of me in a porn where like I watch a porn and I don't immediately skip to two minutes in. You, 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 are, <laughs> you are the degenerates here, motherfucker. There is oh, no. <laughs> I've, well, okay. I've, okay, I've bought a lot of Dojinshi from like artists I like. Yeah. I don't think I've actually read like physical copies of Dojinshi yeah. and like jacked off to it. I know okay. that's TMI, Dude. I'm sorry, but. Yeah. <laughs> I will recommend you some shit. Okay, yeah, wow, I do. Okay. <laughs> I'll come on. Have you three, seen my in, Twitter uh, likes? In like in like four episodes, I'll come back on. I'll be like, totally agree with everything. <laughs> everything these guys say. I, I don't know. I'm I just looking forward to like your like progression from like, oh, what the fuck, to like, you know what? I love this art. <laughs> yeah, because because it's if you've read enough Dojinshi and you've if you've read enough yeah. like H manga, there are so many Dojinshis that just have really really good plots. Yeah, and and I agree. It's it's. This Sips really beer, I, I <laughs> do agree, I must say. I <laughs> it's gotten to this point where sometimes you just want these series to be adapted into a hentai just so you can see it animated. Yeah. And sometimes you read these series that just do something new with porn or hentai that you just have never seen before. And you're yeah. just like, wow, this is like awakening something in me right now. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. It, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, I've I, okay, no, I've never heard someone describe. I've watched hentai and it awakened something in me. How have you like, not? What, what how are, have you there noticed? are some doujinshis that I've read where, like, at first I was like, okay, okay, I dig this art, and then I see like the etchy scenes, and I'm like, okay, I'm digging this. Like, you know, me, I have like a quarter chub maybe. Think, I, but I then, as I, the story continues, I'm like, you know what? I Fuck I, the etchy scenes. I, think I started question, the podcast with the wrong boys question, here. I think. Qu I, no, question to you, and okay. question to all of you watching. Why do you think thighs, thigh highs are sexy? And if the answer isn't anime, and anime awakened your love for thigh highs, you're fucking lying. No, it did, it did. I mean, it's Because not... let's be real, Japanese girls don't have thighs. Yeah. No, it's true. Yeah. yeah. So like, if you just think, if you, thigh highs is like entry level, right? Okay. In the world of Dojinshis and H manga, <laughs> okay. that's like some normie shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten to that point where thigh highs are normie as fuck. Maybe in future we can return to this topic when I've uh, you know done my research. Yeah, yeah. We'll, no, we'll, we'll come no, back. We're going to we're we'll come, come back, back to it. This. Don't worry, don't worry. So we're getting ahead of ourselves right now. Okay, like this, <laughs> this that's this, an understatement. <laughs> this was meant to be an introductory episode when we introduced what the what we're going to be yeah. doing. We if you don't like these topics, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it won't always be hentai, by the way. We just <laughs> preface that. I just, oh. but I, I think I mean the, re the main reason we started this as well is because we always hang out together. Like it's it's not one of those things, like some YouTubers hang out, they make yeah, videos. Yeah. Seems like their friendship's great. We all actually hang out together all the fucking time. No. And we always talk for like two hours straight. Yeah, what about you're looking at anime. is essentially what we do on a daily. Yeah, like yeah. We, we, we easily have conversations where we just talk for like three hours about manga and anime. And we're like, why don't we just fucking- Not like, even yeah. about manga and anime. Anything, I remember, anything. I remember the last time we were at your house and we yeah. talked about like, what was the best burger joint? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? We like legitimately like hardcore yeah. <laughs> argued about like, is In-N-Out overrated or not for like, it's not, minutes. it's not by the way. It I is. Just, okay, it we're not gonna be. get into that. Okay, whatever. We, uh, <laughs> but I, I suppose, uh, I guess that's 
we're going to be talking about like anything and, and it's yeah. going to evolve over the time. Yes. But yeah. I mean, the core of it is anime and manga. I, want, I, I mean, I have a lot of things about anime and manga that I want to talk about, but I yeah. also want to talk about the culture, the community, hentai, um, more hentai, I guess. Yeah, and I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm, for I'm that. also like just general, because we're, we're all YouTubers. We want to talk about sometimes if there's YouTube drama that we feel like we can probably add something yeah, to, yeah, like, yeah. of course. Well, you know, sometimes if there's just like, standard banter of just like not? Yeah. whatever the fuck then yeah we'll, we'll talk and about it and if any of our mutuals are ever in japan like if you want to talk anime and manga with us hit us up yeah We're absolutely and not even just our mutuals like if you're just if you want to like come yeah. onto the show and like talk first of all you got to come onto the show physically <laughs> sit sit right here next <laughs> yeah, to me yeah and talk about yeah, it because we want to ideally this will be a full person podcast and hopefully we, we, I, I mean, I'd be really interested in to bring YouTubers on who don't really get to talk about anime. Yeah, you know, and, and absolutely. And just hear yeah. their side. You know, I so. guess, uh, yeah. I mean, if there are any YouTubers watching this video or, you know, the tweet or whatever, um, then that? I guess let us know if you'd like to come onto the podcast because we will happily welcome yeah. whoever because wants to come on. It's it's surprising. I've, I've met so many YouTubers who have nothing to do with anime or anything. Who, who watch anime. Who watch anime and just really want to talk about anime to yeah. someone. Yeah. And Absolutely. I think I think it's pretty awesome because I remember anime was nowhere near this popular before. Oh, yeah. And I remember the feeling of being the only anime fan and have, having yeah. nothing, have well, no one to talk about. I mean, I think that's why I started my YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, Like yeah. that was like my reasoning is that I had no one to talk to this about. Yeah, I mean, right, let's just exactly. say like kids today have it fucking easy. <laughs> the like fact if you're you... an anime fan like today <laughs> in high school, you have it so much oh easier than God. any of us did. My God. Yeah. I wish, I, I, I'm so jealous because I wish I could have just talked to my fucking friends yeah. about Naruto or yeah. Bleach or yeah. One Piece or something. I had to convince my friends to get into anime well, God, in I mean, order for them, in order to find someone to talk about anime. See, this is like another thing that I, when I talk to Americans, they don't have this problem. And, and yeah. at least in my age group, and I imagine yours as well, right? Yeah, It's like weird, Americans had it good, but British people, and I think probably Australian people are more closer to British, like, People are fucking ruthless in school. Oh yeah, like no, no definitely. And I remember I I got shit for gaming too much in school. So how how the fuck am I gonna? Okay, sit I never there? had that. <laughs> I, I, got, I got shit for gaming too much in school. So yeah. how am I gonna sit there and be like, all right, so Call of Duty, that thing that you play, but give me shit for? How about you check out these anime titties, right? Like, <laughs> like how, how do I I, 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 I built up years getting to like a medium level of like, yeah. in between a level of popularity. Yeah. I was never yeah. popular, but I got out of the bullying zone, if you will. Didn't want to go back it's in It's really there. crazy just how like, I don't want to say mainstream anime is It's gone. not mainstream yet. It's not mainstream at all, but like, I guess just how much more accepted it's become as a subculture. It's getting there, it's getting yeah, there. It's def yeah, it definitely is because I feel like anime works so well with meme culture. Oh my God. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, an anime in a sense is meme culture in a lot of ways. I mean- a um, big fly in a room when you mention meme culture and anime. <laughs> <laughs> you all know what we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I feel like because of that, it's a lot more people will know what anime is, or at least have seen a meme or a screenshot or a gif yeah. of probably Jojo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's usually where they start. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's usually what happens. And as it should be. <laughs> it's the only anime that matters. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then people would just recognize it a lot more. Cause I remember yeah. when I was growing up, people didn't even know what anime was. Yeah. Like yeah. the words anime, they're like, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah. That's some cartoon porn shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's, absolutely. It's weird. Cause I think one of the biggest like double edged swords to anime has been Netflix. Like in the sense that like, it's got a lot of people into anime. Yeah. But then when you get really into anime, it becomes like the fucking worst place yeah. to get. Oh like, yeah. I mean, just, and we're like, definitely going to talk about like, Netflix. We'll talk about that more in future, but yeah, I think Netflix absolutely. has also helped a lot. Cause I mean, they've been pushing like, I remember like when they started getting anime, like Death Note would not get off my fucking recommended on Netflix. Really? Yeah, yeah. And like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, I think they have that. I think they have like all the classics, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, they have all the entry level shows. Right, the stuff that you like, need to watch. Yeah. And they, now they have even Galleon as well. Yeah, so yeah, like, exactly. Which is oh man, such crazy a huge they got that. achievement. Like yeah. that, that's just, I can't imagine how much money Netflix threw <laughs> at Arno to be like, hey, oh can we grab your series that has been pretty much out of print for like 20 plus years? Yeah, yeah. I want to hear the story about how they got that because yeah. people have tried for decades, literal decades, decades. to get to get the, after ADV died, yeah. to get the licensing over to the West. So that must be a fucking story. I remember money. when I heard lots, the news Lots and of lots that. of money. I remember probably. when I heard the news of that, like I actually couldn't believe it. Yeah, I was yeah. like, this is like one of the biggest achievements because it is like, like, you know, without, you know, wrapping it up in a package nicely, like Evangelion is 
one of the biggest anime like yeah. ever made. And like Arno, we all know Arno is like hardcore when it comes to protecting his IP. Oh my God. Cause remember for the longest time, Hollywood wanted to make that Ava adaptation. Yeah, yeah. And Anno was just like, Hell no. fuck off fam. Like, <laughs> he did us you, a solid, he did us a solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he really definitely. saved our ass <laughs> right. There are so many fucking live action adaptations being made right now. I can't even keep track of them all. Yeah. Remember, remember when there was just one and everyone would just wait to shit on that one? Oh yeah. Now, I think there's like, over 10 adaptations being made right now. We, we need to do an episode where we do like a tier list of the worst Netflix adaptations. <laughs> or like we, we need to do a tier list of the, the worst, worst live movies. action yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, yeah, yeah. So anyways, guys, like look forward to all of that stuff. Yeah, this was just a taster. Um, we didn't really plan much of what we were no. gonna say here. As you can see, we're just talking out of our ass. We, 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 we were just talking <laughs> about, we, there wasn't a topic planned and we just kind of evolved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. Only, the only topic we talked about was killing stalking, which lasted five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a lot more structure in future when we get a bit more used to it as well. And, uh, Absolutely. When we have yeah. more topics to talk about. But because uh, right now we, we do want to cover, I think it would make it really interesting for you, the audience, when you know you hear our opinions pretty early on about things that are like evolving yeah. situations. Yeah. Um, also, if you want to hear anything or if you want to request anything that you want to hear mm. us talk about, um, you can tweet at us. Yes, what? at Trash Taste Pod. Uh, go onto Twitter and give us your suggestions. Um, if you guys would also like to ask like any questions, like Q and A and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll um, probably have a Q and A section. Yeah, and then we'll probably yeah. grab yeah, some yeah. questions off of Twitter as well. Basically, if you'd like to interact with us in any way for future episodes, then definitely follow us on Twitter. Yeah. And uh, also, yeah, just subscribe. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy to be <laughs> like, subscribe, <laughs> like Smash the video. the like button. Smash that motherfucking like button, fam. <laughs> but uh, if you do, then that would greatly uh, help us yeah. out and uh, be as greatly appreciated. Yeah, as you can see, we're still in like, I'd say like beta right now, the beta stage of this podcast. Yeah. We're gonna it's like be- gamma stage. Yeah, we're, we're, like we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna be filling up the background and everything. Don't Absolutely. worry about that. If, if you found this episode and enjoyed it before we've even pushed it on our main channel, Channels. Thank you. That's pretty yeah, cool. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank really you. appreciate um, it, guys. Um, yeah, I think that's a good place to end it for now. Yeah, uh, we're going to be uploading at least uh, one a week, and we have a highlights channel as well uh, coming out. So, uh, yeah, you can expect at least one of these a week. Yeah, but look yeah. forward to that, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I've been Joey. I've been Gaunt. Connor or Sea Dog Virginia. Or Giguk. Yeah. <laughs> Gig UK. The Animu <laughs> Man. <laughs> and we appreciate you guys for sticking around this first episode, right. and we hope to see you guys in the next one. All right. Nice. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.